All right, so to kick things off then, let's create a really simple, slim app. If you already know how to do this, feel free to skip this part. I'll leave the code for what we're about to do in the course downloads so you can download this and follow the rest of the series. Okay, so first thing to do then is using Composer, just go ahead and pull in the Slim framework. So we just do a Composer require on Slim slash Slim, and of course, just wait for this to finish. Okay, so now that this is finished, we're not gonna set up a completely correct application structure. All I'm gonna do is go ahead and place uh, an index.php file inside of the root directory here. Usually I would create a public folder so I can keep all my compiled assets in there. But for now, we're just messing around. So let's just create an index.php file in here. So obviously when we hit this page, we need to load in our composer dependencies. So let's go ahead and pull in vendor auto load and let's start to create a new slim instance. So I'm gonna assign this to an app variable and we're gonna create a slim app instance. And what I'm gonna do just for the purpose of this video is I'm gonna pass in the setting to display error details. If we see any problems, this will show any errors in the stack trace. So I'm gonna change this to display error details and I'm changing this to true. So that will give us any errors out. So now that we've done this then, we obviously need to run our app. So this works and there we go. So this should be good to go. Now we're going to just quickly head over to the browser, the directory that was previously empty and give this a refresh. Now we see a page not found because we've not registered a root for this. So let's quickly register a root. We'll set up our HT access and then we will be good to go. So to do this, we're gonna say app get and let's just do the home page for now and create our callback just here. And I'm just gonna return in here home. Later on, we're gonna be dealing with views inside of controllers. So this should now give us the text home and it works. However, to allow for URL rewriting, if we do something like forward slash home, at the moment, this is gonna look for a directory called home, which of course does not exist. So what I'm gonna do is just pull over an HT access content. So I'm just gonna pull this over, paste it in, and go ahead and save this out. You can find this in the Slim documentation if you need it, and there'll be a link to the Slim documentation in the course links. So now that we have our HD access in for URL rewriting, give this a refresh and any URLs like this work, which of course is really important because we're gonna be building up some URLs, uh, not just on the homepage. So now that we have this done, we're pretty much set up with a very, very basic slim application structure. And like I said, if you've had any problems with this, feel free to go ahead and download all of this code from the course downloads.